Hey guys, uh, CG Production here, and today I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna be playing a game called uh, Euro Truck Simulator, or yeah, Euro Truck Simulator or something for mobile. And uh, today I'm gonna show you the best truck for two hundred thousand dollars in the game. And uh, okay, so yeah, this is the truck indeed, the uh, Tesla truck. Um, some uh, here's some stats about it. So it has 900 horsepower, 4,500 newton meters of torque, and it's only 200,000, as I said. So it's not the cheapest, but it. Uh, so most of the newer trucks in this game cost around $200,000. So that's why I'm showing you this truck. It's the most likely the best truck for $200,000. I'm not sure. But it's your choice. Anyways, this is my choice. So, okay. So, reason why it's really, uh, really, like, the best truck is because this is the first reason. It's... Okay, let's, let me show you this. And just saying, most trucks top out at uh, 90 kilometers an hour for some reason in this game. So, yeah, let me show you. Bam, 90 kilometers an hour. So yeah, this is probably the most fa the fastest accelerating truck in the game. And it only costs 200,000. So yeah, and I'll show you compare, let's just compare it to another truck real quick. So let's just turn around. So, let's compare it to the truck I have. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Let's compare it to this Mercedes. So it's a big truck, right? And it only has 620 horsepower. Wait, let me show this. So 620 horsepower, 2,800 uh, newton meters of torque. And it costs two hundred thousand, uh, two hundred thirty thousand, so it's thirty grand more. And it's not the fastest at accelerate, accelerating. So, as you can see, it's still pretty quick, but not as fast as the Tesla. See, at this point, we were already at ninety with the Tesla, like where the sunflower uh, field started. That's where we were at, at many times. Yeah. So let me show you with a load. Real quick. Whoops. This truck is long, so yeah. Let me just head over to get a load. And I'll show you what I mean with the uh, Tesla truck, too. Okay. Let's take. I'm not sure what's the heaviest load. Let's just see. Let's show. Okay, so we have a boat. Hmm. I'm not gonna take the heaviest, but we can keep the thing the same. So we could just take this green. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, here's the load itself. Just a trailer with grain in it. Okay, so let me show you. Whoa, my self reverse. Okay. So this is the load of grain with, let me show you how to accelerate, how this truck accelerates with the load. Okay, second. So this clutch let's start it. Okay. 
So we're at 20 kilometers an hour. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Okay, so now let me show you width of the Tesla truck. So, where is it? There we go. Okay, so. There it is. Is it on? Yeah. Okay, and here is the top Three, two, one. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So as you can see, this was much faster with the load compared to the Mercedes truck. And as I said, this cost 30 grand less than the uh, Mercedes truck, as you can see. So let's just look at some prices of the trucks. So 183, 185, 200,000. As you can see, same stats as the other red Mercedes. Still 200,000, 205. As you can see, the stats are significantly less compared to the Tesla truck. Let me just scroll through them real quick. Yeah, as you can see. Oh, truck. Yeah, so as you can see, trucks. these trucks are not really good compared to the Tesla. So if you are saving up to get a truck, and a nice truck too, um... If you are compared, uh, if you are, if you really want to get a truck for two hundred thousand, yeah. So this truck is like probably, and like this truck is also really fast, as I said. So yeah, this truck would be a really good truck for uh, two hundred thousand dollars if you have any. If you have like two hundred thousand dollars, so if you have it, so you can buy it. But there are some minuses, so if I show you um, some truck upgrades, so you can't, well you can, it didn't work for me at first, but yeah, you could put like lights and stuff, but it would look really weird, especially with this, or this, well that could work, that could, okay. That could too, other than that. Some stuff doesn't work really well, because you can add an antenna, a beacon, that looks really weird up there. Um, flag. Um, and some like side skirts, but you don't need any because it's already being covered. Exhaust, which you don't really need on an electric Tesla. Yeah, so, yeah, these are the wheels, normal wheels, and uh, as a matter of fact, if you put on the stock rims, as you can see, for some reason, this back one glitches through, and so do all the other ones, so if you want just the rims that don't glitch through, uh, choose the second option after the first one, and both sides don't glitch, so that's a good choice, plus it doesn't really matter if you don't have the same rims in the front as you do in the back, because back ones are covered so nobody's gonna really look there and um yeah and another quick minus though is if you go to the interior where is it yeah so i'm not sure if you can see but the wheel doesn't turn let's just go to a different let me just save this game let's go to like a ads Sorry about that. 
Okay, so let's just say we go to a multiplayer. Actually, yeah, let's go to a multiplayer game with the Tesla room list. It's okay, let me just join randomly real quick. Should be daytime. I'm gonna join. Work. It doesn't work. Okay. okay, let's just try to create a room. Um, I'm just gonna take the first option. Bam. Okay, I guess it doesn't want to work. So, okay, let's just go into the normal game mode, as I said. So yeah, can't really see it, but the wheel of the, like the steering wheel does not turn. So I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're not driving an interview, but if you are, that could be a concern. So if uh, the creator of this game sees this, uh, can you please uh, fix this? Cause yeah, it's it's weird. Because if compared to the other trucks, if you didn't see, let's just go into the other the red Mercedes as my example truck. Okay, we should be good. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not sure, but there we go. We have a light display. Okay, so the wheel turns, like the steering wheel turns, so that's a good thing. But for some reason, for the Tesla, it doesn't work. So, yeah, if you could fix this, please do. And uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe for more like upcoming content and stuff, for some more vlogging. And yeah, um, this is a CG Production signing off.